Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of what I'm gonna call live stream leftovers, except you'll see in a second why it's not really live stream leftovers. So today I was doing a live stream and one of the items that I had on the live stream were, they were all items that I got from Cost Plus World Market or World Market, however they're calling themselves now. And one of them were these sardines, which are Yuri. Uh, Yuri is a product name. These are from Portugal. And so we were doing these sardines. So Janice Yamanaka had, was watching the live stream and she mentioned it. She said, those are the sardines that I used to make my Branson pickle Marmite sardine sandwich. And I, I, I asked her more about that. So apparently there's a lot of channels that get involved in this. So it starts from the trips. The trips are out of Canada, uh, Kelly, Eric, and Steve. Uh, they have a great channel. If you have not checked them out, check them out. There'll be a link down below. Make sure you check them out. And they did an episode where they had to have punishment food. So they played the Wordle game. And I think everyone's familiar with Wordle right now. It's from the New York Times. And you have to guess the letters in a word and you have six tries to get the letter right. So they did punishment food if you didn't get it right. So if you didn't get, if you took a guess and you didn't get it right, you had to eat one of the punishment foods. And if you did get it right, then the other two people would have to eat the punishment foods. Now, punishment foods were Branson pickle, Marmite, and sardines. So they did this, and then David Wardle had, uh, if you're not familiar with his channel, you will be. There'll also be a link down below. Uh, David Wardle had seen this and decided, well, why not just combine them together? So he made a sandwich out of it uh, with uh, Branson pickle, Marmite, and sardines. And so Janice Yamanaka had seen David Wordles and she decided she was gonna do that as well and that's why she had mentioned it on the live stream. Well, me, not being one to back down from a challenge said, well, you know, I have Marmite and I still have these sardines left over from the live stream. I don't want them to go to waste, so maybe I will do that. So I have everything here to make that. I'm going to do it slightly different, I think. Uh, I made it a point not to watch David's video or Janice's video. I, I saw a little bit of them, but I didn't watch it all the way through because I just don't want to cloud my take on it by, you know, by theirs. So I'll watch it. I'll watch theirs afterwards and there'll be a link down below for each one of theirs so you can watch it as well. So I'm going to put together the sandwich the way they did. And I have everything here. To, uh, to put that together. So for starters, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than they did. So the thing about Marmite, if you know about Marmite, and you know how the Brits eat Marmite for, with, for breakfast is they have it on toast. They usually put butter on the toast first, and then they put kind of dabs of the Marmite on that and spread that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually add butter to that. I'm gonna put some butter on that first, and then add the Marmite. And I'm just, I'm kind of doing this because that's typically how people will eat Marmite with toast in the UK. And so that's that's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not thinking I'm gonna change the flavor too much and everything, but if you decided you wanted to eat Marmite, that's the way you would do it. Now, I will also say that we have an episode, trippy food episode, where we eat the mite, what I call the mighty mites, which is uh, Marmite, Vegemite, and Bovrite, and that's how we do it. We do it with the, we do the Marmite on the toast with the butter. So I'm gonna start there, then I'm gonna put the Marmite on. And again, again, full disclosure, I've tried every one of these before. So again, the, uh, the sardines I did in the live stream, the Branson pickle, we did a separate episode on the Branson pickle, and the Marmite, we've done many uh, episodes with the Marmite but uh, the most recently being the Mighty Might. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put, kind of dab that, and then mix that in with the butter. There we go, isn't that lovely? That smell though, and I don't mean that in a good way. All right, so there's that. Now I think we wanna put the sardines on. So let's go ahead and get those and put those on there. I'm gonna kind of, you know, mash them a little bit just so that they're, you know, make a good sandwich point. And again, I don't think, um, well, 
these were the ones that Janice used for hers, and David used sardines and tomato sauce, so we're good to go. So these, these particular sardines, David didn't use this brand of sardines, Janice did, and this particular brand of sardines has um, tomato sauce, and this, this one in particular is spiced tomato sauce. So let's get that on there. Yeah, let's, let's use it all. I mean, I do not want to waste anything. I'm gonna put it all on there. There we go. Now, by my reckoning, that sardine takes, that sardines take up a lot of, wait a minute. The sardines take up a lot of space in there. So now I'm gonna put the Branson pickles. I'm just gonna put the Branson pickles right on top of the sardines. I'm sorry, Branson pickle. It's Branson pickle, not Branson pickles. And again, we did a Branson pickle episode previously. I think we, I think we served it with a meat pie, or we had it with a meat pie. I think that's how we did it. Um, the sardines are not particularly a British thing, but the Marmite and the uh, Branson pickle certainly are. I don't know if, you know, there's too much of a good thing, but there we go. All right, so this is how both David Wardle and Janice tried it, but again, full, full disclosure, they didn't put the butter on there, but I'm doing that just because that's the kind of the Marmite way to do it. So here we go. Let's take a bite of this. There's so much going on in there. It's sweet. It's savory. The Branson pickle is tangy. There's like a vinegar base to that. So that's tangy. It's actually pretty good. Those, actually, everything kind of works well together. It's really strange. It's actually pretty good. But here's the thing. I don't think, for some reason, the Marmite, maybe it's just I didn't use that much of it, but, but for, some, for some reason, the Marmite flavor doesn't cut through. So I'm gonna step this up. And so this is for you, David and Janice. This is for you. Um, I'm gonna challenge you to step it up the same way. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take another slice of bread. I'm gonna butter this. Some of you already know where I'm going with this. Yes, we're doing Vegemite. So I am going to put some Vegemite on there. That is dark and murky. All right, that's gonna go on the top. You know what? Why not? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put more butter on top of here. And I am gonna add bovrite. Cause you got this stuff, you might as well use it, right? This one's more liquidy. And so remember, the bovrite is very similar to Marmite or Vegemite, except that uh, it also has beef in it. It's also made from beef. So there we go. There's our bovrite. But here's, so here's my dilemma. Here's my problem. So I'm gonna put these two slices together. So that top section of this sandwich is gonna be, you know, mite heavy, right? Um, so you're really not gonna have anything in there 
I've, I've used all the sardine on the bottom layer. All right, let's step it up. So I have some smoked oysters. So in case the, you want to use the same brand, it's Geisha, Geisha brand smoked oysters. These are in the, uh, sunflower oil. They have some in cottonseed oil. They have some, I don't think they have any in olive oil. If you can find those, those would be nice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of these. I mean, you know, we've got seafood in there, right? And I'm gonna put smoked oysters on the top layer. Because that's how we roll. Now I'm gonna take the sandwich, the uh, top of the sandwich, which has the bovrite and the Vegemite together. And we're gonna try that. Doesn't that look appetizing? All right, here we go. All right. For some reason, this, the prominent flavor is the sardines. Sardines come across, you almost can't even taste the oysters. The sardines are the primary flavor. The next flavor you taste is the Branson pickle. Now, how Branson pickle can overpower the mites, the mighty mites, is beyond me. Maybe I just didn't use a lot of it or something, but it just seems like the two prominent flavors here are the sardines and the uh, Branson pickle. I apologize. I was saying it wrong. It's Branston pickle, with the tea. I will say that the butter helps. The butter actually makes it nice. You see, you think about it, I've got three sides of this bread buttered. The Vegemite, the Marmite, very strong taste. And they usually cut across that as a very, very strong taste. And here they're really, really minimal. You can just barely get, they're really salty, really uh, heavy taste. And here they're, they kind of take the back seat to the Branson pickle. I'm sorry, Branston pickle. They kind of take a back seat to the Branson pickle. So um, it's not a bad sandwich. It's a savory sandwich. It's funny because you get that salty sensation in your mouth without so much of the salty taste as if you're just having a slice of toast with the Marmite or the Vegemite on it. So it's really kind of odd. It's not bad. Um, I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not something I would ever go into a restaurant and order. Look at that. But it's not bad. Now, because this is something you would not want to do on a regular basis, I'm gonna give it a thumbs in the middle. It's not horrible, it's not bad, it's not terrible. But, again, no one in their right mind would make a sandwich like this and eat it on a regular basis. So, yeah, thumbs in the middle for me. So, I'm gonna kick it back over to you, David and Janice. Step it up. Um, so do it with the oysters, the bo bovrite, and the Vegemite, if you want to. You don't have to. Just step it up a little bit. Uh, I'm eager to see what you think of that. In the meantime, check out their videos. I'll have links down below for both of their videos and the original video of the trips uh, where they were doing it as uh, punishment. Uh, check all three of those out and check out their channels because they're great. So uh, get out and try this. I think, I'm pretty sure that every, you can get everything here, every, all, every one of these, the, the Vegemite and the Marmite, the Bovrite, the Branson pickle and these particular sardines. You can get everything at Cost Plus World Market. So get out there and give it a try. But remember that's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.